So today we're going to be making focaccia romana. So this one has kind of been inspired just by a recent trip to Milan. This bread makes an amazing kind of deli sandwich. Once I had it, I kind of had to come home and try and recreate it. Really, really fun recipe to do. And we're really going to push the boundaries of hydration. Like a lot of our recipes, as we've always kind of said, like kind of the wetter our dough, the better. Don't be afraid, like a wet, sticky dough, avoid the temptation to add flour. Well, this one's gonna blow them out of the park. So we're looking at hydration in excess of 90%. We're actually going for 95% hydration. I do recommend having a mixer, because if you try to do this one by hand, there's a good chance the arm's gonna fall off you, because uh, there's a lot of kneading involved. But definitely one worth giving a try. It just takes a little bit of planning, and ideally what we wanna make is what we call a sponge. So it gives us an opportunity to condition half of our flour, so then we, tomorrow morning, we can simply come back, add the remaining amount of flour, and you'll find that the dough comes together much, much easier. 380 mils of water. We're using 10 grams of fresh yeast. This will work perfectly fine with dried yeast as well, if that's what you've access to, no problem whatsoever. And just mix in the yeast just to help dilute it. We're simply gonna add 200 grams of flour. So just mix it till all that flour is incorporated. Very, very thin. But that's exactly what we're looking for. Just looks like a bit like a very thin paste. But just cover that over, pop it into the fridge, and next morning it's going to look like this. The flour that we have is fully hydrated and it's full of life. It's lovely and bubbly, lovely and active. So this is the base upon which our recipe is going to be based. So we are taking our sponge which we made last night, dump that all in, and to that then we're going to add another 200 grams of flour and we're going to add 10 grams of sea salt. So the hydration on this dough, as I say, is really, really excessive. We're looking at 95% hydration. So you'll kind of find in order for this dough to come together, the kneading time will be probably significantly longer than we would be traditionally used to with most of our breads. But that's exactly what we expect, so don't worry, that's absolutely fine. Realistically, you're probably looking at at least a good 10 minutes kneading time, if not maybe 10 to 12. So, so far the dough has been mixing for about five minutes and you can see even already it looks like it looks a bit like soup and you kind of go this is not going to come together but I promise you it will just a little kind of scrape down at the sides just to make sure everything gets lo it's loosened and keep mixing it will come together you're going to see how this dough transforms and we're going to gradually increase the speed Our dough is ready. It's been a good 12 minutes of mixing time. Um, so we probably were speed three for about five minutes. We can increase that to about speed five, for about another five. And then for the last couple of minutes, we're on nearly max speed. It creates the most amazing, super elastic, beautifully and smooth dough. Just this little trait in which to prove it. Because the idea being basically every 20 minutes, we're going to incorporate some stretches and some folds. Ideally, I don't really want to be turning it onto the counter, scrape it half it back on, back into the bowl. It means I can do everything within the tray. So we're going to leave that for 20 minutes. We'll come back, we're going to stretch and fold, and we're going to repeat that process three times. So we're just going to incorporate the first stretch and fold into our focaccia. Just a little bit of oil in your hands because it's such a soft dough. Then get your fingers in. So even already you can see it's much plumper, it's much standing up. So 20 more minutes, we're going to repeat that process and we're going to do it two times. So it's three in total. So 20 minutes rest, stretch and fold. 20 minutes rest, stretch and fold. Our dough is ready for its second fold. And you can even see in comparison to before, just before we did the first fold, it was that could be flatter. You can see it's got much more height to it now. So we're going to repeat the process the exact same way. And again, even as you move it, you're going to feel how the dough is transforming, how the strength is building. So we're going to give that 20 more minutes, and we're going to repeat that process one more time. We're going to give it one final stretch and fold and then we're going to give it a final 30 minutes and then we will be shaping our final dough.
Our lovely focaccia is ready to go. So now what we want to do is just nice and gently start to shape it. So with this though, we're not kind of knocking back like we would traditionally. We're simply going to turn it out onto our baking tray um, and slowly using the tips of our fingers, just slowly start edging it. We're not gonna force it because we don't wanna stretch it and tear it, but just gradually help and work the dough out. As I say, this bread, it makes the most amazing kind of like deli sandwich bread. It's gonna be like almost wafer thin, full of beautiful air pockets and just packed full of flavor. So as you kind of shape it and work it, you'll probably find the dough naturally wants to shrink and wants to pull back. So don't, don't fight it, don't force it. What you can simply do is just leave it be. Give it a couple of minutes rest, come back, and just keep working it out again. So once it's shaped out, we're going to give it about 45 minutes, allow it to prove again before we bake it kind of a really high temperature, it's going to bake it high and fast. So our focaccia romana is ready to bake. So just going to put a little bit of sea salt on the top. So it's going 250 degrees in a preheated oven and then I'm just going to hit it with a good blast of hot water to create some steam. So literally we're looking probably about 20 minutes, maybe even less. Just really quick, really fast. So our beautiful focaccia is baked. We're not looking for a huge amount of height with this bread because I said it's the perfect kind of sandwich bread. We just kind of wait for a thin piece of bread rather than like a big wedge. Um, and it's packed full of flavor, so I can't wait to cut into this. So that's our super hydrated Focaccia Romana, 95% hydration. I know it might feel a bit daunting, but I recommend giving it a go. You can see it's super aerated and just that beautiful open crumb. You can imagine this just kind of filled with your favorite kind of deli meats, cheese. Absolutely stunning.